Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little talky vlog type video today. Um, as you can see, I'm like all makeup free. My hair's a mess. I actually just woke up about half an hour ago or so. Um, I really did not plan on making a video today at all. I just have not been in the mood for the past couple days or week or so, but um, I figured I would just make a quick little video. Um, the reason I started YouTube in the first place um, is really was just to become a part of like the mommy vlogger, um, like mommy support community on not just YouTube but like the internet in general. and. I think a huge part of that is like sharing like my struggles and obviously I watch other people's videos who are going through like similar struggles or are in like similar um, places in their pregnancy to really kind of, I don't know, get like some sort of support and just get um, a sense that I'm not alone and I'm like the only person feeling this way but um anyway so I'm sure you guys are gonna hear like all my animals in the background you guys do it every single video and I don't know it's a really crappy day outside it is literally it is pouring rain and thundering and I think I saw some lightning as well so while I cook my breakfast it's on the stove I'm just going to chat a little bit so let me start by saying that before I got pregnant, I would always hear pregnant women um, just complaining about pregnancy for whatever reason, whether it was like um, like the physical aspects, how much they hurt, or like the emotional aspects where they always... Sorry. My one dog is trying to catch a fly and she just hit my stand. Anyway, so I'd always hear how they like pregnant women complain about like the physical aspects, and then there'd always obviously be like the emotional aspects where um, they were like the crazy pregnant ladies and all of this stuff. So before I got pregnant, I would always look at these women and be like, "You need to hush up your mouth. You need to stop complaining. Like you were able to conceive a child, and you are carrying a child. And hopefully, they're healthy." But, like, that's all you should care about is that the baby is healthy and that the baby is going to, like, be okay. Like, you shouldn't sit here and complain about all of this extra nonsense that's going on. Um, and I always just kind of thought that, like, all of this crap that you go through during pregnancy, it's always worth it in the end. Which I still believe that, but now that I'm, I'm kind of to that part in my the, like place in my pregnancy where a lot of things are changing dramatically. Um, I'm 25 and a half weeks now and I've noticed that the past, I'm going to say two weeks, I really, physically I've been changing so, so, so much over the past couple weeks. Emotionally over the past week. It has been like a roller coaster and granted I have I do have like a ton of stuff going on in my life <laughs> sorry I do have a ton of stuff going on in my life um, a lot of it is just dealing with like the move and like my work and um, just being so busy and whatnot but added on top of that I'm like having such ups and downs with my moods um, and I wouldn't really say ups I would more say downs the past like week or so I've just been having like terrible terrible days at work because of my mood I haven't been like the greatest at home because of my mood I've just been like having no motivation and energy to film 
and even to edit which to me part like for me it takes a lot of energy for me to like get ready and film videos and all that stuff so a lot of times what i do is i will like at the moment on my days off from work i like get ready i'll film a, a couple of videos and then over the next couple of days i'll edit them and upload but i just have not even been in the mood to like edit videos which to me doesn't like require a ton of energy and effort on my part anyway like i was saying in this point in my pregnancy i have just i feel like i'm getting all of these like physical changes but it feels like it just it happened and that it, it's happening overnight like i kind of went from being able to wear the majority of my closet and all of a sudden out of nowhere it's like one day i can't wear anything like i can't fit in anything and I know that's normal. I know that towards the end of your pregnancies when you gain like a ton more weight, but literally I'm pretty sure I gained like five pounds in the past week. I don't know if that's normal when you're at like that 25 week mark, but then yesterday or the day before yesterday, I was just, I was off work and I was kind of just like hanging around the house cleaning and everything. And I put on, um, a very basic like a tank top and just shorts that I always wear around the house like they're just very basic like comfortable things um just like lounge around in while I was cleaning and my shorts have gotten so tight to the point where I can't wear them I put them on and I had to take them off within like 20 minutes because they were digging into me and it was it kind of like hit me how much weight that I've gained and how big that I've gotten and just because these these are shorts that I wear not only do I, do I wear them all the time but they literally are like my comfy wear around the house when I'm not going out and doing anything kind of shorts and all of a sudden they just don't fit so I had to change into these leggings that beforehand were way way too big and I actually got them secondhand from I think my mom a couple years ago and before they were like so 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 big and then yesterday I was getting ready for work and I have no I have one pair of pants that fit me and those are maternity pants and those are getting so tight around my thigh area. The only area that like fits me comfortably is the belly, but I hate wearing it because it's like one of those belly band things and it makes me so hot and it's like August, so I'm hot all of the time. But so I attempted to like wear something else and I had these like black pant legging type things. They're kind of like stretchy pants. And when I had bought them months and months ago, they were like so big. I don't even remember why I bought them or why I got like I got them so big. I don't think I tried them on before I brought them home, but they were so freaking big. Like where I had like to where I could like put like my whole I don't know, I could just like pull them out um on my waist because they were so big. And um now um I put them on yesterday before work and they, it was not happening. Like I buttoned them and it was like so uncomfortable and so it was like squeezing the baby and I just, I had to take them off immediately because there was no way that I was wearing those all day. Um, so again, it kind of just hit me that how, like how much weight I've been gaining and I really, it honestly feels like I just woke up one day and I was so much bigger than I was the day before. And then I kind of like started steadily gaining weight and then all of a sudden it was like, bam, I'm gaining like five pounds a week. Um, so I'm officially at my 20-ish pound weight gain. Um, I don't know my like exact 
starting weight because before I got pregnant I didn't really weigh myself so I'm kind of just like going off of approximately um, what it was like when I went to the doctors the first time like towards the end of my first trimester so I'm at about 20 pounds and I'm 25 and a half weeks so anyway I just I feel like all of this stuff put together has really just been messing with my emotions like I feel really negatively about myself I feel really badly I feel like I can't wear anything um I kind of just want to stay in the house and do nothing because I don't know like I don't want to wear the one pair of pants out that I have that kind of sort of fits me like the the pair of pants that fits me the most right now I don't want to even wear shorts because I've gained so much weight in my thighs that like you know I'm like jiggling everywhere and I it's it's just it's really really hard and this is all kind of like affecting my emotions and just making me an emotional mess the past week or so um, on Monday I was at work and granted I work at a very emotional place um, we deal with like animals and life and death and all of this stuff and I it's it's kind of hard like on the average person but being there for a while you kind of like build like a thick skin on Monday I cried at work like I had to have a bathroom crying session halfway through my shift because I don't know like it just it was too much for me to bear and it just built up and I just started crying and I had to like go into the bathroom for 10 minutes or so um, and I can't even tell you the last time that I cried at work it's probably been quite some time so needless to say this part of my pregnancy has been hard I I don't know it's like I don't even know I don't even know what to say because on one hand I feel like it's so normal but on and, you know you hear pregnant women like complaining about it all the time but on the other hand it's like how do you deal with it when you're actually going through it when you're having like these negative thoughts and you know you feel so terribly about yourself um, and Figgy wants to join the video again. Just kidding, she doesn't. But I don't know, and it's it's so hard because, like I, the people I know who have been pregnant, they were pregnant years ago. Like a lot of times, like it's a lot of family members, um, people that, like my boyfriend's mom and his stepmom and everything like he has younger siblings but that still was like eight nine ten years ago so thing like things were different things have changed and you know and obviously my boyfriend doesn't really understand to like the fullest extent how I'm feeling he he's a very he's very sympathetic and he does like listen to me and try to help me but it's like you don't get what's going on like in my head and like emotionally and you know he doesn't really get that like I've gained so much weight and I have no clothes to wear he his response to that is usually like just telling me that like you're pregnant you know like you're gonna gain weight but it's like he doesn't really get that like that that affects me when I don't when I wake up in the morning and I it's like a struggle to literally find something that will fit me like even if it's not comfortably like just something that I can like put on and like button or whatever or like I even have like stretchy pants that I bought in my first trimester that no longer fit me just because like the stretchy waistband it like digs into my stomach and I can't wear them anymore so Oh, and I've also officially hit that part of my pregnancy where it is so hard to sleep. Um, I cannot sleep at all. Very, very well, I guess I should say. I've never been a great sleeper, like, my entire life. And 
kind of gradually I would start like getting like my back would hurt while I would sleep and now over the past week it's officially been to where I just barely sleep I'm waking up constantly I don't I don't know like I, I when I wake up in the morning and I have to like get up and go to work or whatever like I'm absolutely exhausted so that's obviously not helping my mood and my self-image and all of that stuff so anyway I guess I'll end this video because I don't really think I have much more to say I'm kind of just being like an emotional pregnant mess I guess I don't know um but I'm gonna go eat my breakfast because I think it's burning on the stove so all right bye guys